nasty weather out this morning. Hopefully the plane will take off. Morning, y'all. So we're off. We're at the Anchorage Airport right now, and uh, we're gonna get on our flight going north. This is home for tonight. All right, guys, we're here in the village of Nuxit. Pretty cool. We're not very far at all from the Arctic Ocean, pretty close to it. So uh, I'm gonna do a quick little lap around town and make sure all the roads are good where I'm gonna do the testing. And we'll just take it from there and start doing some road tests for these folks. It's a pretty small village up here, and uh, it's part of the ASRC, Arctic Slope Regional Corporation. That's basically the organization that kind of pays for a lot of the expenses here and a lot of the maintenance, um, just because the oil fields are tied in with all this. And right now, I'm gonna take you guys to one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive grocery store in the United States of America. So let's go check it out really quick. And there's the houses. There are a lot of just kind of small houses up on stilts because this is all tundra. The crazy part is it's only about 2.30 in the afternoon and it's almost dark out. There's a school bus in the village. All the kids are getting off school right now. And this is the Coopit Corporation. And this is also a grocery store right here. Let's go check it out. As you guys can see, it is not cheap to live out in the village up here. Everything you get is extremely expensive. You do get paid more if you can find a job, but it costs a lot to live out here. All right, so right now I'm gonna go head over to the school in the village here, and that's where the career fair is happening. So I'm going to be administering road tests for people to get their driver's license. So I've been working for, uh, for about 19 years now as a driving instructor and driving road test examiner. And I help people get their driver's licenses if they're good enough to drive. And that's why I'm here in the village uh, for a lot of these kids to be able to get a job with ConocoPhillips and all these companies, you have to have your driver's license. And obviously there's no DMV out here in the middle of nowhere. So I fly out to these remote villages and do testing so that they're able to get their driver's license and uh, just try to get a job at a place that they want to get a job at. I 
There's the playground there. Here's the school right there. The career fair is happening in the gymnasium back here, so that's where we're heading right now. Yeah, this is, I think, well, I'm here. Let's go to your passport first. <laughs> My son up. Oh, for a driving test? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But, okay. Hey, are you the one you drive? Yes, yeah, you are. Yeah, sure am. I need to do a road test. No way. How long are you here for? I mean, tonight. It's gonna be the road test. This is like to get your driver's license. It's like, yeah, once you take yeah. an Anchorage or Fairbanks, so uh -huh. if you have like an offer license, it'll get rid of you. So you can go drive in like California or wherever, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. what I got. Like, Thank you. Where's your Thank phone you. number right there? Yeah. Well, guys, back in the hotel room. Morning, guys. We we're heading south. Back to Anchorage. almost back home and that was a very successful trip that is the most amount of people I've ever had road tests in the village and uh, a lot of people have their licenses now which is really cool it really helped out a lot of folks so I'm glad I went up there and I'm glad you guys could join in anyhow if you enjoyed this video make sure to smash the like button down there and subscribe to the channel and we'll uh, catch you again in the next one peace y'all